Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Well, good evening, everybody. We are finally beginning to cool down a little bit. 87 degrees now for Midland, Odessa, 88 for Pecos. Generally, still pretty warm out there. Now, we did get some rain, and that helped us cool down a tiny bit over our high temperature today, which was not in the triple digits for the first time in a while. 99 degrees are high today, barely skirting it close to that triple digit line. But we did come in a little bit above average, as we have been doing for the past month or so. 94 degrees is the average for this time of year. Even our lows, 73 compared to the normal of 69 still coming in a little bit above average. Now, again, we did get some rain to help cool us down a little bit. Now we've got a little cloud cover to show for it, but most of the rain that we were looking at earlier today finally has begun to subside. We've got a little shower activity still moving through parts of Brewster County, parts of Presidio County, but aside from that, really not a whole lot of rain, not a whole lot of flooding potential or any severe weather potential for the rest of the evening either. We're just looking at a lot of cloud cover in the wake of a lot of these showers. As you can see, they're rapidly dissolving pretty cool to see on the satellite and radar. And earlier today, we had a lot of rain developing along the Van Horn Mountains. Now, everything is pretty much winding down. Even the cloud cover is beginning to dissipate around the Van Horn area. Now, across the northern basin, we've got a little bit of cloud cover still in play still kind of propagating, still popping up in the wake of some of those showers as that groundwater begins to evaporate, leading to some clear, uh, clearing rather skies in Odessa and Midland. Notice these clouds continuing to pass from northwest down to south and east, and that's the main direction that that wave of energy driving those thunderstorms had traveled earlier today, and the same direction that we're going to see traveling for tomorrow. High temperatures are picking up a little bit more. 102 will be our high tomorrow afternoon. And that is in the triple digits. It's also well above average. Average. It's also warmer than what we saw today, but it's also carrying along with it, with all that heat, it's carrying along a lot of energy. So we could have some more thunderstorm chances tomorrow evening as we head to the overnight hours. Temperatures will cool down fairly quickly and cloud cover will begin to dissipate fairly reasonably as well. Again, we're at 85 degrees now for Midland Odessa, but once we back off tomorrow morning, we'll see those temperatures drop down into the low 70s. Not too bad there. 71 for Wing, 74 for Pecos, and 73 for Midland and Odessa. A couple of us actually in the upper 60s by tomorrow morning. As we head to the evening time, though, this model a little bit warm, showing us warming up to 104 for Midland Odessa. I think it's running a little warm across the basin, but spot on across the Trans Pecos. 104 in Wing sounds more than reasonable for tomorrow's high temperatures, and it also is more than reasonable for Marfa to only pick up to 89 degrees by 5 p.m. because of where those thunderstorms are going to begin to develop first tomorrow afternoon. We've got a little bit of moisture flowing in from the south and east, but those winds are going to remain mainly calm for tomorrow afternoon. It's generally that heat that's going to really give us those thunderstorm chances. The temperatures are really going to begin picking up tomorrow, Saturday, even Sunday. We're looking at high temperatures above the triple digits, and that's going to lead us to a good chance for some isolated thunderstorms in the early part of the afternoon. Overnight tonight, really not looking at a whole lot of activity. In fact, most of those clouds that we saw earlier are going to begin to clear out. As we head to the afternoon, though, that's when a lot of these pockets of isolated thunderstorms develop first south of I-10, then across the Trans-Pecos, and then we'll see a wave of energy swing through from the north and west. That's when I think we have the best chance for Midland and Odessa to see some of those thunderstorms, and it will be a nice change of pace. Now, speaking of changes of pace, we're not going to be seeing any severe weather risk for most of us. We do have a little bit of that marginal risk getting close to the northern basin, but it's not creeping in. So I don't expect anything in the way of large hail. I don't expect any damaging winds, but we could expect maybe some small hail, and anytime it rains, uh, localized flooding is a concern of ours. Now, I put our chances here in Midland Odessa at 30 percent. 102 will be our high temperature, but across the northern basin and the Trans-Pecos, we're looking at a good chance for some isolated thunderstorms to develop, and then those temperatures just pick up from there. 105 by Sunday before cooling down for the start of your work week next week. I gotta say, I'm not looking forward to that 105 degree high. No, Ouch. Sunday's brutal. Mm -hmm. Hopefully some rain tomorrow, especially in the Midland Odessa area. Yeah, absolutely. Stay inside this weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And drink plenty of water if you do find yourself outdoors. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Chase. Thanks. Well, we